I'm, me and Hoxley are going to make a record. Um, and he's terminally, terminally unbelievable. I was just talking to him about my new key synthesizer setup that I have in my house. <laughs> And uh, we're getting, we're getting, I'm getting excited to work with him. Wait, is, is this something that transpired by virtue of your relationship uh, throughout the show? Well, we get to, we, you know, he's a busy guy, I'm a busy guy. We're, you know, in, in different studios at the same time, so we don't get to see each other. This is, this is re, re, planted the seed of, of possibility. Amazing, this is breaking music news. <laughs> Are you going, you're going to be, it's your record and you will produce it? What's happening? We're talking about doing a song. You see, I... I'm a fan of Gavin's, and, and I'm a fan of his. <laughs> one of my great and un ungreat rock and roll moments was I released a single called uh, "Anger Is Beauty," and, and and my label thought it was really great. But that same week, a Gavin Brown produced uh, a song by a little unknown band called uh, Billy Talent called "Try Honesty." Went to the radio the same week, and, and I remember hearing it and going, "Oh." Fuck. Tronesty was so mental. I just thought, jeepers, there's no way anybody can compete with this. Anyway, I, I, I think that I'm a handsome guy still. I can still compete with these young kids. And I think that oh, hell yeah. Gavin and I need to make a rock record. At least a rock, at least a rock kick tune. Billy Talent's ass. Yeah. How about that?